Welcome back to the channel guys. Behind me is a beautiful 20 Z01 Camaro owned by Mr. Holgan. And I had the pleasure of speaking with him uh, in great detail before this. Um, he wanted the Faraday edition or signature edition ZL1 Camaro. So I spoke with him, went over his needs and goals. And he does have, uh, I'll call it more of a street slash race car that he does take to the drag strip. It's a 69 Camaro, uh, small block with nitrous on it. Um, that he does race, so he is a gearhead and knows cars. He, his ultimate goal was to have a car that makes as much horsepower as this race car, let's call it, but can drive on the street with AC and radio and enjoy it. So uh, behind me is, uh, we'll call it roughly 1200 flywheel horsepower, uh, fully built car with a stock engine still in it. So, uh, you know, to keep it within his budget of what we were gonna go with, uh, we did everything minus the short block, which stay tuned and I'll tell you more about that here in the future. But for now, let me show you under the hood of what we did. So it is our full heads and cam package. We went with a 2650 supercharger, obviously ditching the 1.7. Uh, the car does have, uh, he wants to run on 93 octane or E85. He wants to be able to go cruise down the street and go, go to car shows so he can have 93 octane in it. And then when he goes to the track on the weekends or he wants to go out and roll race with his buddies on the weekends, he can put straight E85 in that. And uh, to be able to do that and make the thousand horsepower that we did, uh, we have to have a fuel system in the tank. So we have three pumps in the tank that feed the mechanical pump, as well as we add a second set of injectors. Uh, so we have the car idles and drives on the direct injection. And then we have a set of port injectors on it as well that turn on with a separate ECM that controls it when it sees boost. So again, guys, he gets the best of both worlds with this car. Um, same all the way from how good it looks under the hood, to how good it looks outside, to how good this thing sounds. Uh, we even kept the stock mufflers on it because he wanted to be able to drive down the road and be on the highway. And to be honest, the car sounds almost like a stock car on the highway. And then pull into a parking lot, pull into the track, hit a button and have it sound like the heads and cam crazy built motor cars that y'all hear on our channel often. So he has the best of both worlds of making it quiet as well as loud. And I think, I finished uh, about 970, 980 rear wheel horsepower is where I stopped on this build. Again, being a stock short block, we kept it around 16, 17 pounds of boost. Um, but we built this thing, uh, again, talking to Barry, uh, knowing that in the future he is gonna want more. So normally the Faraday editions are about power, uh, aerodynamics, wheels and tires, and just an all around badass car. And so for this instance, we did all the performance work, all the suspension that we can, so we can go drag race this car, roll race it, and enjoy it. Um, he's gonna go do that now, bring it back. We're gonna take care of some aero mods to it, as well as aftermarket wheels and tires. But let me start this thing up for you so you can hear it and see what she sounds like. And I will say, guys, we are on a 20-inch street tire. It is a Nitto drag radial. Um, as Jason can contest behind the camera, I just took him for a ride in this thing. Really bad, but traction tool just should keep us in one place for a little bit. And then we'll accelerate pretty dang hard. traction control on and so just like I tune all my cars in drive you can shift one two three four five and go uh, put it in manual mode put it in the gear you want and it will shift by itself we did a third gear roll and traction control just is keeping you in the lane all through third gear 
once it shifts into fourth, it kind of you can feel the card take off and go fourth and fifth gear. This car screams. But again, a 20 inch drag radial makes the car still look like the factory when you're outside looking at it. This car pulls into a parking lot or a, you know for a car show or an event. From the outside, it doesn't look like it's some crazy race car. So that was kind of the goal of keeping it kind of looking like a sleeper for now um, until he comes back for the built engine. Then we can turn the boost up and this thing will go from 970 to probably 1270, 1300 rear horsepower. But I'm gonna give you an idea of what this thing sounds like. Uh, you'll see a little bit more in this video of some action shots of Mr. Hogan going for a ride and he actually flew into town. I took him for a first test drive. It's actually one of the first test drives I got to go in the car too. I think I only made one pass in it before he showed up. So stay tuned for that guys. You're gonna love the action and his uh, reaction to seeing this thing for the first time and getting to feel it for the first time. You ready to get it back? Um, yeah, I am. Have, seen I was talking have, about have they showed it to you yet at all? Yet. I was I waiting know, for I'm you waiting okay. so we can get a video. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You got Barry, I'll see you in a little bit. It's nice to meet you. You too. Come. Oh, I wish, yeah, it's outside right now. I'll, I'll start it and I'll pull it in so you can see the change. Really? Wait till you hear this thing. And then I'll pull it in and I'll pop the head and say
Patrick, man. So did you feel like it kind of, and then all of a sudden traction control, <laughs> and it kind of took off? Is that, is that wild this or what? This sucker's mean, man. That's wild, it's right? It's mean. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little taste before we go out and do more. God. Oh my God. I got to figure out I got to call this car. <laughs> <laughs> Also, look, manual mode, even from here, it starts off yeah, in second gear. second gear. So we take off from a light, even, we're in second gear. Yeah. And then if you have to hit this to shift it, or if you floor it, it'll just shift it to set RPM and speed we have to set it. That's yeah. what I'm about to test right now. Yeah. We're gonna see what, what RPM it shifts at. So Stephen just uh, gave you a little ride. What you think? It's something else. <laughs> it's unbelievable how much power it's got. Yeah. It, you, um, if you ain't used to it, it'll get that heart rate running. That uh, that traction control kick in? Yeah. <laughs> if you ain't got traction control, you're in big trouble with it. <laughs> I, I couldn't be any more happy. I already knew when I, I already knew that I was gonna get. I already knew it's gonna be what I wanted to be. I just, I've been watching the videos on it. It ain't yeah. watching it on video and being in the car, daylight and dark, man. <laughs> First time I got out, I was like, whoa, shit, this ain't wrong, man. <laughs> uh, I'm but, uh, looking forward to looking at that interior footage. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Front right here. Look at this motor. Unreal. I'm very pleased. I mean, I can't say enough about it. <laughs> All right, so those of you interested in a Faraday Signature Series vehicle, please contact our sales staff. Uh, again, guys, it's mainly I speak with you to get your needs and goals for the vehicle, whether it's a GM, Camaro, uh, a Cadillac, CTSV, an Escalade, or even a Ford, or a Ram or TRX truck we can do it and it's just more of a I put my touches on and give my input on the build process to a hundred percent meet your needs and goals and really surpass your needs and goals uh, we build these cars every day and our normal packages always surpass people's needs and goals but it's just to give uh, my little touch to it and my attention to detail uh, to make it look as good as it runs as well as the suspension components on it as well. Uh, just an all around best way to have a vehicle for a driving experience. So contact our sales app today and we'll get you taken care of.